Welcome back everyone, Grogen here, and we are going to have our first look at Final Fantasy XIV. Now, I know I'm really late to the game, but I've never tried this game before. I used to always play WoW back in the day, and I never ever got around to looking at this. But first impressions are, it looks really nice. Looks really nice. So we have made a character and called him Grogen Heavy Hand. I, I don't really know what I was picking when I was starting it all off. But let's see what we got here. True Thrust. Weapon, sk weapon skill. Delivers an attack with a potency of 170. This is a play guide. That's a teleport. Reduce your body to the ether, ether and instantly teleport to an Aetherite, which you have previously attuned. Requires a gill fee paid upon arrival at your destination. Okay, return, return to your current home points. So that's like the Hearthstone in WoW, I guess. And Sprint, we can run fast. So, let's get going. We've got a guy here to talk to called Ben Bear Tenant. We speak to you. Once you've initiated the quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Click on the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your list of current duties. Where's the accept button? Oh, there. <laughs> I'm blind. Looking on the wrong side. To be recognised as an adventurer in the city-state of Gridania, you must first register yourself with an adventurer's guild. Okay. So we'll go and do that. Another green adventurer, I presume. I thought as much. We can't allow strangers to wander Gridania unchecked and untested. Have we got to do like a little bit of combat training or something? Before you rush off and begin pestering every second citizen for work, I suggest you make yourself known at the Carline Canopy. That's the headquarters of the local Adventurers Guild, in case you were wondering. I was wondering. Oh shit, I pressed it again. <laughs> Never mind. Quest agreed. You've begun a quest. We have to click through these at the bottom. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. Right, the duty list. Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list on the right side of the screen. A maximum of five quests can be displayed at once. Okay, so there. So that's our quest. Wood Whaler Bertenant, Bertenant suggests that you speak with Caroline Canopy's proprietress mother, Mion, before you begin exploring. Okay, and does it show us where she is? I'm guessing that's her. But where are we? Oh, we're down there. So we've got to go into the roost and go kind of left. Right. We don't need to keep the map up. The map is just M, um, like on most of the games. So how fast does Sprint get us? Cannot be used here. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> but I want to thank everyone who keeps coming back and watching the videos. It really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying them all so far. If you are new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up as well. All helps out massively with the videos getting shared and stuff. So here's Mother Mary Mune. Mune? The Caroline Canopy. Uh, Caroline. Caroline Canopy Proprietress. Tongue Twister. Complete the quest by right clicking the NPC. Yeah. So we do that and we'll speak to this lady. If she looks up at us, she's just sitting there reading a the book. <laughs> Graphics look kind of nice, don't they? Well, well, what are we here? Okay, so we completed that quest. We got some stuff. We have got a question mark above our head. And there's an initiating quests thing there. You've taken the first step as an adventurer in the city of Gridania. Did we level up already? Wow, we're level two. <laughs> All right. Mewn, proprietor of the Carline, Carline Canopy, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. We can do that. We can do that. Let us begin at the beginning, shall we? Now that you're a former me member of the Adventurers Guild, we must be sure you have a firm grasp of the fundamentals of adventuring. To that end, I have three tasks I wish you to perform. Your first task is to fin visit the Atherite, a massive crystal that stands in the middle of Atherite Plaza, not far from the Carline Car Canopy. As a device that enables instantaneous transportation, the Atherite plays a key role in the life of ever wandering and adventurer. Once you have located the crystal, all you need to do is touch the surface. A, mem a member of the Wood Wallers will be present to offer further instruction. For your second task, you need to visit the Lancers Guild. There's no better place to learn the arts of the pole arm. Speak with Gillian, and she will explain the benefits of joining the guild. And for your third and final task, I'd like you to visit the markets at the heart of all Gridania's commercial district. Here you shall find weapons and armor of the various items and that an adventurer might need on his travels. It is, however, more to the markets than buying and selling goods. Speak with Parson Muntret and listen well to his counsel. The master of merchants can be uncooperative at times. Be sure to offer him one of the famous eel pies. Like so many men, he is much more charitable when his stomach is full. 
Here, yeah, I made a batch not long ago. Okay, so she's going to give us some food. We're going to give it to some guy. And then hopefully he'll tell us what to do. One more thing. Should you happen to come across any citizens in need, don't be afraid to offer a helping hand. I'm certain they will be pleased to meet an adventurer in whom they can confide their woes. A lot of people about, aren't they? You got this place looking nice considering they're in like constant peril. I also suggest that you lend an ear to the smith in here in the ca canopy. The smiths are trusted representatives of the Adventurers Guild and are an invaluable source of advice for neophyte heroes seeking it. That's saying greatness. So they're already speaking to a little young girl who's going to go out and start shooting things with a bow and arrow. And he, is it he? Waves at us? Okay. Nice little nod. <laughs> Quest accepted. So we need to go and find... We'll go and speak to that guy later. We're going to go and touch the crystal first. Because... Just because. So she said it's not far from here. Oh, look at that. That's massive. We got... Is that five quests we got there? It says sanctuaries with a five and a question mark. If I click that, what happens? Oh, it just gives us some some stuff. Let's just click through them to get rid of it. Here we go. Okay. After right, we're just going to click on you and we attune with it. Looks like it's got night time now. It's dead sunny. What have you in there? She talked that long and it went dark. Greetings, adventurer. I see you are faithfully following Mother Mion's instructions. Here's another Lancer. Allow me to offer you an a bit of instruction myself. I'm Nick here of the Wood Wallers. And I know what to think about that. Right, yes, the big crystal right there. So oh, we just skip. Because we're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> we're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> return land. I, we haven't really. But you are now able to use the return spell. Okay. Right, attuned ourselves. Now we've got a couple more quests. There is a red one over there, which I think might be a little bit hard for us, maybe. But there is one here, Bernadette. We'll go and speak to you. Bernadette is searching for adventurers eager to prove their metal. Newly come, Gridian here, are you? In search of fame and fortune, perhaps. If you have the confidence in your abilities, I urge you to speak with Chancel Soup. Chancel. Chance the Loop of the God's Quiver. You can find them standing at the vigil before the Archers Guild. The creatures of tw Twelve's Wood have been behaving most unnaturally of late, and has fallen to the God's Quiver to pacify them. Okay. Quest accepted. So, we need to go and speak to the guy inside there. Let's just check on the map. Doesn't this go bigger? It can, but it's... Um, so, where are we? We are there. Does it show us who we got to go? Oh, good at the Arnia. Okay, so they take us out to different places. We've got a level 2 quest over there. We've got the smith there that we got to go and speak to. And I forgot what else we had to do. Preserving the past. The level 1 quest. So, we'll go and get that. Right, let's go and speak to the smith then. Let's go and speak to the smith. Can we go through the wall? Oh. <laughs> Looking for a little shortcuts already. I forgot who we have to go and speak to. We go. Right. Good adventure is hard to find. We've done that one. So where was the little tick? Oh, it's up there. We've got to go out that way, haven't we? Right, smith. Greetings, I am one of the smiths, a stoker of fires and a forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I've been entrusted with the tasks of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see you have recently taken up the Adventurers Mantle. The possibility is stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the Adventurers Guild, we see new adventurers, fledging heroes. You are champions of tomorrow, the nascent stars of limit limitless potential. My fellow smiths and I are here to provide you with the guidance but the guild also enlists... Sp skip it. Skip it. New adventurer status is applied to all players who have recently begun their adventures. Okay. What will you do? What is a new adventurer? What is a mentor? Nothing. <laughs> We're not going to do nothing. We're just going to go and see what we can do. Okay, so we've got a quest there. A good adventurer is hard to find. Speak with Chancel Soup. Where are they? If we click on this, does it show us? So if we go around here to the right, Chancel Soup is over there. A good adventure at his heart of hand. So that's where we're going to head off to. We can sprint. It doesn't really make you go much faster, to be honest. What the hell is that? <laughs> like a little flying cat. 
Hey, I think we are going down this way. Pascaline. Now look, I don't know whether... Ah, do you know what? It's hard to know who's the player and who's not in this. Up to now. There's one running there. So we are going to come down this way. And speak to this guy. And then there's another quest up there. Course correspondence. We have got to wait another 30 something seconds before we can sprint again. But that's okay. Right, there's chance, chan chance to loop. Bernadette sent you to help me. Well, experienced or not, if you wish to prove your worth to the people of Gridania, you are right to come. You do wish to prove yourself, don't you? Yeah, we do. And we'll complete that quest. Wait, can I turn these off? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Chance to loop at the gods' quiver is testing adventurers by sending them to slay forest fungars. Fungars? But Natalie, yeah, we'll go and fight them. Right, so that's that. There's another quest in this building there. We've got one from... F yeah, yeah. <laughs> so one of the archers guilds wish you to deliver a sealed message to the markets. Okay. So we got another quest then. Go to the market. Right, deliver the sealed message. That's going to be our course correspondence. Let's check that one on the map. That is there. So we've got to go there to the markets. And we are... I've lost us. We are there. So we go through there saying right at the end. Okay. We can sprint again. We can sprint. Okay, so it looks like we go through here. I guess we do. Look, I thought that was a bit of a barrier, but it looks like it must be like a bit of an instance thing where you go through it and it loads you in. Loads you in. Right, we are. I don't know where we are actually. Is this the market? Okay, well, we'll go through the market. Got a summoning bell. Right, there's Parnell. Greetings, sir. You might be looking to secure the services of a retainer. Item request. Do we hand that over? Okay. What's this? A missive, you say? Whatever could be this be about? Let me see now. Do you want to know about the available stock of potions at the markets? Okay, we can complete you. Quest complete. Now, have we got any more quests in this little market? Do we have anyone else we need to speak to? It's not looking like it. I thought we did, but I guess not. Right, we got to go and slay forest fungars. Or should we go and do that first? Go and visit the Lancers Guild. Which is... The Lancers Guild. Okay. Do we go through them? Oh, it looks like we got to go back through the market and say left at the end. I think. Looks this way. Yeah, we'll go and see the Lancers Guild. We'll do these ones first, close to home. And then we'll go out and do the Forest Fungwas. I think. We might end up with another quest. I don't know. I don't know. But my first impressions of the game. It looks kind of good so far. It does. Right, where was the Lancers Guild? In that building. In that building. There's a level 3 quest as well. And we are level... Where does it tell us our level? If we press character, does it tell us on there? Oh, we are level 3. Right, there's a quest there. He'll accept you. Quest accepted. Slay ground squiddles. Six of them. So who is it that we need to come and speak to in here? Visit the Lancers Guild. Right, oh. Hang on. Close to home. We've missed it. It's back outside. I think... Oh, there it is. The guild reception. Welcome to the Lancers Guild. I see you brought your own spear. If you seek to refine your skills with the pole arm, then you've come to the right place. Here at the Lancers Guild, spear wielders gather to train with one another and further hone their abilities under the tutelage of our fine instructors. More than just an instrument, instrument of war, the spear is also a tool for hunting and with game ever plentiful in the Twelves Wood. The weapon has been a mainstay of locals here since before the founding of Gridania. With the passing of time, our nation has become a gathering place for spear masters from across the realm, many eager to test their metal against the farmed might of our woodwallers. And it was here in Gridania that the myriad of fighting styles came into contact, eventually giving rise to the tort here today. Okay. Enough. Visit the Lancers Guild. So, you got a quest for us as well, have you? We'll accept that. Quest accepted. Right, close to home. We've got to listen to Parsimon's explanation of the markets. 
Parsimons is where? I've no idea. I've no idea. Where are we? Okay, well, it looks like we've got to go back to the market, which I've lost. I'm lost. We've got to go back outside this door, maybe. No, not that door. What about you? It's the way. <laughs> we found it. Right, so just straight down, and we've got to find someone's... We've got to find someone there. Listen to Pastor Montreux's explanation of the markets. Oh, there he is, close to home. So near the back on the left. Quite difficult to see on the map a little bit. So it is a little bit of backwards and forwards because I'm not too sure where I'm going half the time. But, you know, there he is. There he is, hiding by the door. Hey, right, we're not going to listen to him, now. We're going to hand over the pie. Oh, wrong button. Hand over. We nearly used it. <laughs> Imagine we had to. He would not be happy. Well, he seems happy enough with the pie. He looks kind of like... Funny. <laughs> he looks strict, doesn't he? He's like a school teacher. Hey, can we skip the cutscene? We can. Right, that's that done. That's that done. So we got a quest off you too now. If we can click you... There we go. Accept. Right, close to home. Report immune at the canopy. Best accepted. Right, let's go. Let's go. So we got to go back down to the pub, which was... Which was where? I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Okay, so it looks like we go out of here. Turn left and then go down that way to close to home. Did someone just speak to us? I don't know how to speak to them. I don't know. I just said hi. I don't know how to speak in the whisper. Okay, we're going to go down this path, back through the little instant thing. And then we're going to go and speak to the woman back in the pub again, which was... Is that it? Close to home. So we are... I'm lost. <laughs> I'm totally lost. Go across this way. Someone spoke to us. He said... He said... Ha he went, oh, can't trade you. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We don't need any trades. We just need to learn what we're doing. Hey, right, back to the pub. Back to the pub. And there... Uh, Mother Mune. Mune. We speak to you. And this quest in, and we've done our first little set of quests. Right, but we are going to skip the cutscene. Complete. Close to home. Right, she has got another quest for us. She wants us to send an adventurer to the instructor at Bannock. Quest accepted. Probably would make sense for me to start reading all these. Oh, we got another spell there. Corporal Thrust de delivers an attack with a potency of 100. Oh, there's another quest there that we missed. Someone has got a quest for us on the left here. Oh, there's two of them. Celestine. Looking for an inexperienced young soul to make a delivery on their behalf. Okay. We'll deliver something. And you. Someone to return an iron snaffly accidentally took from Tree Spark Stables. Okay. So we've got a couple more quests. We've actually got a few here. Which one should we do first? Which is, is there anything close? There's quests everywhere. Quests everywhere. Right, that's level four down that way. That's level four. An adjoining area. Can we open up the map even further? Or have we just got to scroll out? I don't know. I don't know. New Gradenia, Old Gradenia. Oh, that's where the markets are. Okay. Well, do you know what? We're going to go. Which one should we do first? Speak with Joey Wynn. The Master of the Lancers Guild. So that looks like it's back where we just come from, doesn't it? Was there a way to go through to the right here? I think there was. So I don't know how long our first episode is going to be, right? Because we kind of just learn our way around, aren't we? And then in the second episode, we're going to get going more, I guess. <laughs> more, I don't really know. I'm going to learn, learn how to chat as well, because someone did try and talk to me, and I didn't know how to reply. Didn't know how to reply. I think we might have gone the wrong way, yeah. 
Doesn't matter though. We'll go in and we'll see. Did they say to speak to someone? That one's a bit high for us. Don't think this is the right place, you know. Oh no, this is the Archer's Guild. We wanted the Lancer's Guild. Back out and somewhere else. Go somewhere else. We're going to go back up that way and take the next right. Okay, so this seems like we're going the right way, but there is someone to talk to there and I can't quite reach him. There we go. Sorry, mate, we ain't open yet. Okay. <laughs> we can't really do nothing with you. I'm saying a bone spear. Oh, we got a bone spear head. I wonder who that was for. <laughs> we must have had a quest from someone. Right, we're gonna head. Oh, that's back out that way. Right. Oh, we've got we got quests. We got another quest. In here on the left side. This one here. Okay, so what do we get? Obtain a pot of beeswax. Okay, so we had a quest to collect a few things. And that's what we're doing. We're getting some stuff off people in the market, which is probably okay. Alright, next one. A length of bramble weed rope. Right, there's a quest to hand in. I think just in front of us up there. So we go and hand that one in. That's a long way, doesn't it? Pass a money. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to hand that in. And I forgot where else we were going, but there's, there's loads of quests to collect. Loads of quests. There's a lot of running around. I wonder what level do you get a mount or stuff in this game? I am still only on like the trial accounts as well, so which is why that other person couldn't trade with me. Because I need to find out if I'm going to play it first, right? So, and we we need to do one of you. Hand over, hand over, and hand over. And that's that done. I am so impressed. Right, we got 82 points and something. I don't know. Quest complete. So it looks like our first episode, right, is going to be just inside all Gridania, by the looks of things, because there's so much stuff in here. Right, next one. We're going to go and do... Let's go and do Way of the Lancer. Which is right behind us in that building. Okay. It was Andy, wasn't it? Is someone just on the right? There he is. You Wayne. So we're going to learn how to fight a little bit here. Well met, adventurer. I understand you wish to learn the Lancer's art under our roof. Though you have doubtless, brand doubt Though you have doubtless brandished a spear before this day, and perhaps even in earnest, you still have a long way to go before you may call yourself a Lancer in sooth. In my capacity as Guildmaster, I shall guide your training, beginning with the very basics, the principles of our art. This scheme cannot be. This scene cannot be skipped. Well, we're going to do what you say. Have you the resolve to wield the lance? We're not going to say no, are we? <laughs> well said, adventurer. I see no reason to deny you a place within our ranks. Well, that was easy. That was a bit easy. Did he say something about squiddles then? You got to go and kill some squiddles? <laughs> right, what do we got to do? Speak with Wayne, the master of the Lancer's Guild. We've done that. Slay ground squiddles, three, three, uh, so we got to kill squiddles, ladybugs, and funguars. Okay, so that's two quests to do the funguars now. Speak with Galfred at the banner. Map. Where is the map? Okay, so that's not here. That's not here, I don't think. Hard nuts to crack. Okay, so there's someone there. And we are all the way up there. So we got to go back through the market, take a right, and keep going. Back through the market, take a right and keep going. So it looks like when we come across here, before we get to where we're going, we've got a couple more quests to do here. There's a level 1 one there, and a level 2 quest there, so we're going to go and grab this. Whoops. Right, what do you want us to do? An adventure is to deliver a message. Speak with Millicent. Okay, we'll do that one soon. We're going to go and grab this one from Estain as well. Estain, the caretaker of Miketo's Amphitheatre, needs an adventure to help. Tidy up. She wants us to tidy up. Okay, we're going to go into there and we're going to tidy up some of this stuff. So we got to pick up all the vegetables. How many? Six of these. Gather the vegetable offerings. Okay, cancel you. There's another one there. Interrupted. What's interrupted? 
Oh, <laughs> I was pressing it more than once. Never mind. Okay, how many more? Three more. Can see two. Gotta find another one. Ah, uh, there it is. It's hiding over by the benches. And that's the sixth one. Six of them all collected. We can go and speak back to a stain. See, we're good, aren't we? <laughs> so we've got to speak to someone called Millicent as well. I don't know where they are. Oh, hang on. Let's go back then. Let's go back and do Millicent because then we're going to go further the other way. And I don't know whether we're going to head back this way for a bit. So rather than back forward, back forward, we'll just go back and speak to the guy that we've got to talk to first. He's only in this, over this bridge. Who are you in far away? I don't know why you couldn't just shout him from there. What's this all about? Right, we'll complete that quest. He didn't give us another one. I don't think. No. All right, so that's all them quests down that end finished. We'll go and grab this one. Yeah, we'll go and grab that one. And then we'll go and speak to a hard nut to crack. So that's out to the right. Oh, we fell off. <laughs> we fell down. Hang on, that's showing us where a hard nut to crack is on there. That's level 4, that one. I don't think we're level 4 yet. I think we're still only level... Where is the sellers are level? Oh, yeah, we are. We're level 4. So we can probably do them. But we're going to come down this way anyway. Across that bridge. And speak to Stout Elm... No, it's not. We're going to speak to Melane. The Conjurer Melane seeks to an assistant for her frantically busy students. So what do you want us to do? Let's see. Speak with Bray, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that looks like kind of not far from where we're going anyway. Because so we've got to go and do that hard nut to crack. And then we've got to go and do the incense and stability. So that's still down this way to the right. We're we'll going to hand that level four one in first. To Barnabonsant. Bon ba Okay, let's go back and speak to Breya. So how many levels are in Final Fantasy XIV now? Or how, how far have we got to go? I'm guessing it's going to take a while and it's a lot... It's, it's going to be a bit of a grind, right? It's a MMO. Bounds me. What's that one say? An adjoining area. We want to go over this way to the right. Are we, are we going in the cave? We are. Going to go and speak to this person in the cave. Hey, we need to find out where they are as well. I don't know whether they're inside the city or not. Kind of cool in here, isn't it? Bit dingy like, but... Let's get in and speak to Breya. Hey, what's that say? Key items can be used on targets by first right-clicking the target and then right-clicking the appropriate, appropriate icon from the key items window and selecting use. Or the Asmund onto the... the Sensors. Okay. So we click on that and click on that. Use. How many of these do we need to do? Two of them. There's one done. Ah, oh, there's the other one over there. How do you get them blue flowers to grow in here? Okay, so that's that done. We can go and hand you back in. There's a quest on our left that looks a little bit too high for us. Um, we cannot complete this. Why? Oh, we got to pick one. Uh, what does that do? That gives us mana points and that gives us health. Let's take the health. And quest complete. And we got another one. Player is busy with preparations for the coming ceremony and needs an adventurer to bring her scarlet oil. Okay. Quest accepted. So it's definitely nothing in there. All right, let's get out. Let's get out. Back up and out the cave. So have we got it? We've got a couple more quests to collect in here. Covered in roses. Doesn't look like we can actually track them, does it? It looks like we've got a quest to hand in there. A hard nut to crack. And we've got to leave the area to go and do that one. 
So it looks like this is who we've got to speak to. Samyain. Samyan. Samyain. Samyain. I don't know. A botanist named Samyain is hoping that an adventurer will pick up scattered rose hips for her. Rose hips? Do you know what? I'd never heard of a, a rose hip until I played scum. And then scum, you'd have to collect them. Yeah. Or you, you could eat them. So there's our first one. How many we gotta get? We've got to get six of these. Nice and easy. We haven't actually fought anything yet. Guess we will soon enough. Guess we will soon enough. We'll learn how to die. We'll learn how to die. We'll learn how to resurrect. <laughs> and we'll see what happens from there. Oh, there's another quest in front of us somewhere. I can't see it, but it's on the map right there in front of us. Must be in that building. Oh, no. There it is down in the field. Okay, so that's all six of them. Let's go and hand this one in. Then we'll go and grab that other quest off the guy in the field. So, Sam. I'm going to call you Sam because I don't know how to pronounce your name. I will give you six of these. Hand them over. Complete. My quest is done. And we have gone up to level five. Things are going well, right? Got to be. Oh, that's a big drop. How far can you fall before taking damage? A botanist named Ethel Red needs an adventurer to make a delivery on his behalf. Okay. Deliver to someone. Right. That looks like it's up this way, isn't it? One spit and twice shy. Request up there. Any more quests down here before we leave the air little place? No. Right. Doesn't look like there's anyone in there. We've got to go and speak to this one there. One spit and twice shy. That's where we're going to go. How do we get out? <laughs> we've got to walk the long way around. What's this? Um, uh, at the net shard. Does this take us back to the other place? Save us walking all the way back? No. <laughs> we now have access to the botanist guild. Okay. Oh, so if we do that, does that mean now that we've touched it, we can go back to the plaza? One way to find out, right? It does. Oh, that's so good. Right, there's another quest here on our left, but where was the one that we were doing just then? I don't know. <laughs> oh, look, there's so many. So many quests. All right, let's go and grab that one, preserving the past. That's someone just here. Adele. These are level one quests as well, so we probably should do these quite soon. Adele's looking for an adventure to deliver a forgotten item. Speak with someone. Luhelic. And there's another quest around here to our left for friendship. So we're going to go and grab you. I'm thinking that that did just... No, that says preserving the past. But there is a quest down this way for friendship. Is preserving the past up that way? One spitting. Okay. So if we hover over these, it tells us which way we can go to do some of these quests. But we're going to go and do this one for friendship down this little gap there. Nicolox. Nicolio? Nicolio? I don't know. Nick. Nick. you just called Nick. Right. Greet. Alyuni with a bow. Bow. Right. Do we just do type bow? Well, the, the emotes work the same. And it worked. Okay. So we've done that. Speak back with Nick. Express your joy to Anuli. Oh, joy. If I spell it right. Three letter word that I spell wrong. <laughs> Great say. That done? You're odd. <laughs> she said we're odd. Nick, you're making us look stupid. Dance. For <laughs> we got to dance for her now as well. <laughs> She's going to think we are mental. Dance. Well, I think we were mental if, I start, if someone come over and starts doing that in front of me. Oh, she laughed. You're a really good dancer, mister. Looks like fun. Maybe you should try it sometime. Yeah, maybe. There's a quest over there that we got to speak to as well. Thank you. You're pretty good at this. Right, complete that quest. And we'll go and speak. Oh, we got an achievement. Congratulations. You just received your first achievement. Achievements are earned by reaching certain milestones during your adventures. And there are achievements for just about everything from leveling classes 
and uncover the locations to defeating enemies and earning gill. Guessing gill is like the currency in this. Right, Adele sent you. Give me a moment. Okay, so that's that done. We spoke to you. Can we balance on these? Guess not. Guess not. Make a little playground for the kids. I delivered the toolbox to Arthur. Oh, hey, preserving the past. Let's see if we click on you. Go to the map. Okay, so we got to go through that little path and he's just there on the left. Where the path was is to the right. Hey, we haven't got no more quests to pick up around this part, which is good. But we are going to go through this little passageway. It's like he's guarding the little portal, isn't he? Okay, so we are there. There's the quest right over this side of the bridge. You probably see me looking at the map and stuff a lot early on because I don't know my way around yet. I don't know my way around. Eventually, hopefully, I'll just be able to go from one place to another without looking. But that's not today. Not today. Hand that over. And complete the quest. Right. Next up. Once bitten, twice shy. Should we do that one next? That's over there. Okay, so that's not far away either. Oops. Cancel you. Go so, uh, down this way and across the bridge, it seems. It's going quite misty. I like how it went night and day. Unless that was just me and maybe it didn't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we are going just straight down this path. We don't need to turn off down that way. There we go. Well, Jew, we've got something for you, I think. Oh, we've got to speak to you either way. Uh, yeah, we're going to give you an Azima Rose. And uh, over. The way you hand stuff over is a bit weird. Right, that's that quest done. Next up, we have got... Should we go and do the Scarlet Oil from the Ladybugs? Where are they? Where are we? We're miles away. Okay, so it looks like we've got to go back that way. All the way down there and we'll go and get the level 3 essential oil. Oh, well, that's mad. <laughs> that was weird. Right, so it looked like we go... Is it down that path? Join an area. Is it? Could it be this way? I don't know. We'll find out now. We'll find out. Can we just track this? Okay, so we can come through this way. Probably would have been better to go that way. But we're going to go down this path. And then we'll turn left at the end and see if we find where we've got to go. There's a gatekeeper, central shroud. We've got loads of quests down these places. But I say, beyond this gate lies Sorrel Haven. A haven indeed for some of the most fearsome beasts you've ever likely laid eyes on. Passage will be granted only to those who can see their, to their own safety. Can we not go out yet? I guess we're not high enough to leave. I guess. I don't actually know. Can we jump over? Can we jump over? Who are you? The White Wolf Gate. Well, we can't go that way either. And we can't escape that way. Alright, well, we're not coming this way. We're not coming this way. have any items yet? Where's our inventory? We don't. We got grade one dark matter, ten potions, and some feathers. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, right, we're gonna go. Where are we? We'll go that way. I think it might be down that way that we gotta go. Essential oils. Guessing this is the right way anyway. We can't sprint again for a little bit. Right, so we have come through another little portal. This is taking us to the central shroud. And what are these things here? Right, how do we know what we've got to kill? You know what, let's just kill something. Oh, hang on, battle. Right click on the target to switch to active mode. And then, and ready the auto attack. Approach and face the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target you are currently attacking. Okay. So we got some attacks. 
There you go. He's dead. We've killed our first item. Oh, we've got to kill six of these. Oh, these are all the things that we've got to do. Experience points. We can't loot them, though. Binding items. An item you've equipped is now bound and you can no longer be traded. Okay. I didn't remember. I didn't see us equip an item. Okay, so the ladybug is dead. We've got to kill six of these and loads of squiddles. You're dead, I think. It's our health. We've got 154 health, so it's not doing much damage to us. It's just trying to fly. <laughs> okay, we're just going to slow us at all these. We still need one more ladybug. Okay, that's that one. We and we need three more squiddles. There's that one. These are only level one. These should be easy. Right? Not meant to be hard. These are respawning really fast, you know. Maybe it's because they're new. I like. What the? Here's a big walking tree. Right, that's that done. Right, was there any more quests out here? Population control. Essential oil. Essential oil. Obtain scarlet. Oil. Oh, we got a. We've got to obtain Scarlet's Oil from more Ladybugs, so we need more of them. Do we also loot then? Because we got four out of six, and we just leveled up. And we've just got whatever that item is. What's that say? The shows critical damage for the first weapon skill used when Life Surge is active. Okay. So we need one more Ladybug. And there's a critical attack because we used that number three. So if we press, that looks like it's control and one, is it? It doesn't matter. We haven't got nothing in there yet. Right. Do we need anything else to kill you? That says way of the lancer. Slay three forest fungars. That's not it. That's a big tree. So we need to find forest fungars. There's one. It's like a little mushroom. Oh, this, he's got eyes. <laughs> Right, there's one dead. We need to find two more of them. I'm not actually seeing any more here. I'm hoping this thing's friendly. There's level 12 tree sapling thing. Oh, look at that water. You can see the lights in the distance. Right. I'm not seeing any more forest fuga things anywhere. None up there. This is a little red area. Ah, oh, there's one. There's two. Someone, they must have just respawned. I thought that ladybug was coming to attack us then. Oh, we've got two quests to do these. We've got to kill six for population control, but only three for our lancers thing. So we need to find a few more. There's one. Oh, they've got the big queue above them. So that means... Ah, oh, that's better. It's well more useful. This one just spawned right next to us. That one... Oh, I thought we killed it in one shot then, but we didn't. That's just walked over to us. Right, we're doing okay, yeah, you know. Right, that's all of them. Hey, right, we've got quests to hand in in front of us. Oh, down there. We've got... We've got to go back for population control. Should we go and do that first before we come back in here? Oh, do you know what? Let's go and hand these two quests into this little camp down the bottom. Just in case there's a teleporter thing that takes us back. There's right, someone over there, and there's another quest to pick up. Okay, so what do we want to get? Can we? I don't know whether. Also, tight boots and leather tight boots. We want strength, I guess, don't we? Armory chest. 
Since the armory system in Final Fantasy XIV allows you to change your class on the job or by simply changing a weapon or tool in your main hand, it's recommended to always have several sets of gear on hand. However, gear can take up a tremendous amount of space in one's inventory, which is why all adventurers carry an armory chest. So, Control and I opens up the armory chest. So, we're going to equip them. Because I've got a feeling they're better than what we've got, I think. Right, go and get a quest off Galf Galfred. Galfred, Chief Instructor of the ba at the Bannock, wishes you wishes to inspect your equipment and therefore gauge your readiness for future missions. He's going to tell us our gear is rubbish, surely. Right, yeah, he's not going to give us a quest. <laughs> right, this one, hang on, gear. You can review, you can view, equip, and remove gear by either selecting the character under character from the main menu or pressing C on your keyboard. Okay. Right, we've got to give you them. And we will say, there's more pants. Let's take some money. Who knows if it's a good idea or not? Well, loads of people probably know, but I don't. All right, that's that one. And we'll collect one from you. Okay. There's something there. Gotta go and speak to this guy. Why is he hiding behind the boxes? He looks sad. Slumbering initiate. Where'd he go? I don't know. <laughs> he ran away. But there's another big crystal up that way. Right, let's just check our map. So. Oh, idle initiatives. Speak with the idle initiatives. We've got to find. We've got to find another two people who were just sitting around doing nothing. What's that? The road to 80. The experience end while below 80 is dramatically increased. Okay. So 80 must be, maybe not the last level, but maybe where it goes up to. I thought that was a slumbering initiative then. But I guess not, I guess not. So are these guys going to be hiding? Well, we've only seen one so far and we've got to find two more. I've got a feeling they're going to be hiding somewhere. Slumbering initiatives. Any of these guys? No? Maybe up there. A forest fungus thingies. Where are these people hiding? I mean, if they're trying to get out of work, they're doing a good job. Because this is the area that they're found in. Right, we are going to find them. We are going to find them. Squiddles and stuff. Not going to be up there. Right, I'm thinking we might not even find these two people. They're doing a really good job of not wanting to be found. Ah, there's one. Daydreaming. Initiate. Oh, look, them ones have got red things on them. I'm guessing that they probably attack us. Big spider. All right, we've got to find one more person. What was that? I don't know. I don't know. Valerian. I don't think you're one of the people we're looking for. There's the other one, no. There is the other one. He's meditating. He's not. He's just leaning against the tree. Right, that's that done. Speak with the idle initiatives. So we go and talk back to that guy. So we're like an hour in. And I don't know how long to do the first episode because... Well, do you know what we're going to do, right? We're going to hand this quest in. We're going to go back into town and hand in the other quests that we've done, the population control and stuff. And then we'll see what... we'll. We'll see what are the quests we can gather from there. And then that might be where we finish off for our first episode. I mean, I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. If you'd like to see more though, you'll have to let me know in the comments. Oh, it's up this way. Hey, we've got a, we've got back up to Chance the Loop. And we've got a quest to hand in. Which is, I forgot what it was called. But Population Control. So we can pick 
an eye patch, <laughs> a hempen hat. Let's pick the hat. And let's see, uh, control and eye, wasn't it? We're going to equip you. Uh, we look like a little bit of a witch now, don't we? Can we just do that straight from here? Oh, we can. We don't have to go into our character thing. So we do have more quests to hand in, though. If we come around this bend and go to that guy there, or that corner, the adjoining area, there's quests around there. I'm thinking, right, that one says, that's got three quests there, that's got three, so, whoops, oh, whatever pressed. <laughs> they all take us to the same place, by the look of it. So we'll hand them three in. Let's see what level we get up to. Is it a quick way to see which, which, what level, oh, level seven we are, Lancer level seven. Right, so we have got a quest, two quests straight ahead, and we've got another one there, a hard nut to crack over that way. So we go straight up through the market. That looks like a little market, but I, I wonder if that's for like quests or like bounties and stuff. No idea. No idea. Right, so we're not far away. Just them two there. So we're going up to the Lancers Guild. We've got two quests in the Lancers Guild, which is that building in front of us. And we are entering the Wayland Barracks. Right, there's this guy here. Boy, boy, we're just going to call you boy. Right, we can complete that one. Quarrels with squiddles. Roll actions. Roll actions are spells and weapon skills that are assigned to all the classes within the role. Tank, melee, DPS, ranged, healer. Rather than the specific class, roll actions are learned in the same manner as class actions via the leveling. But only need to be learned once to be able to use them with all participating classes within a role. So what do we get then? Second wind. Instantly restores own health. Ah, oh, that's good. We can heal a little bit. And we've got to go and speak to... Duane. So you are back. Yes, we are back. And we have done our quest. Oh, we've got another quest off you as well. Guildmaster Duane would like to teach you the meaning of courage. Ah, you have returned. I take from your presence. You have gained a measure of familiarity with your weapon. Good. You're ready to begin the next phase of your training. You'll now recall me. You will, you will recall my telling you that it makes no small amount of courage to be a lancer now in general terms courage is the strength to do something which one finds unnerving yeah well. hunt and log hunt and log is a record of your completion of tasks okay so you want us to use foul smell and bait to lure out riverbank yarsons and slay them okay so we have got another quest though to hand in so we're going to go and do that and that one is in the north shroud oh no again there's one there essential oils Go and hand you in. I'm going to do this today rather than having to start our next episode handing quests in. So it kind of makes sense, right? Hang on, here's another shard here. Have we learned this one? Oh, we haven't, but we are now. We're attuning to the shard. You have now access to the Leatherworkers Guild. Okay, so each person's going to... Each guild has one of these, I guess. But we need to go past this place on the left. Looks like we're going across the bridge. Okay, we have gone back to see Brea. And she wants to collect some stuff off them bugs, didn't she? The Scarlet Oil. So we're going to hand this stuff over to you. And we can get fingerless leather gloves, leather light mitts, all classes, disciples of war. Are we a disciple of war? We must be. That gives us dexterity. That gives us mind. Let's take this one. And we will collect you. Equip. Right, that's going to be good for us. Right, there was one more there. The Northern Shroud. We're going to go that way and do that one. So this is only outside here. And take our first left. So it's not even far away. Let's sprint a little bit. Someone's just had a little tiny cat or something. A little pet. Oh, there's another shard. I don't think we've attuned to this one either. Look, we can travel probably. <laughs> well, a lot better. Can't we once all this is done? But I'll still forget. Until I start getting used to it all, I'll probably just keep forgetting. There's another one there. I don't know whether we've done that one. At the amphitheatre. Right, this is the way we've got to go. Was this where the guy said we couldn't leave before? No, it wasn't. But I don't know where this is taking us. The Black Shroud, the North Shroud. Right, this has got little ladybugs and stuff. There is a quest somewhere. Where are we? There's a quest there, and we've got to go down this way to hand in a hard nut crack. So we'll grab you, grab you, and then hand you in. 
Looks like it's open that tower up the top. Looks like this is this a path in? It is. So Paul, what have you got for us? Paul, a guard at El Spire seeks a diligence of engineers to screw up clean a pair of what? He's gonna go and clean signs. Okay, and we're gonna head on down. Right. We'll do that another time. Tomorrow, maybe. Oh, there's more signs, right? But we're gonna go down there. The nose knows. The nose knows. <laughs> and we sprint off. Down towards you. Oh, look at the size of that building in the forest. Just outside of the city. Got loads of little bugs. There's a level 35, and he's just smashed the level 2 thing. Oh, is he a guard? Yeah, he's a sentry. Hey, who have we got here? We have got Vion. Vion is searching for an adventurer to deliver an item. Yeah, we can do that. Seems like our main job is delivery. Look at this. Right, that's that done. We can hand over the iron snaffle. Don't know what an iron snaffle is. <laughs> right, we can get a sabad. That gives intelligence. That's strength. I'm guessing we don't use mana, do we? So strength is probably what we want to use. So equip that. And collect the next quest. An adventure to help with a pest problem. Slay mightlings, six of them. Can we go in there? No, we can't. If there is a, something to do just here, is that going to be a sign? The nose knows. Oh, the door just opened. <laughs> the nose knows. This is something around the back. Is this going to be one of them mightlings? Oh, no. Who's Gillian? Gillian. Gillian. <laughs> well, I'll be if you actually found someone willing to lend a hand. What have we got to do with these? Retrieve the burlap sack. Is that it? Let's take it away. Take it away. The nose knows. Okay, that's going there. Right, I don't know whether you'd have to log out in certain places in this game or not. But let's just go and hand this one quest in. I know. Oh, there's the mightlings as well. Should we just do that? Oh, do you know what? We're going to finish off here at this little building. And then the next episode, we'll go and hand that burlap sack in and we'll go and kill the mightlings. But that is where we are going to finish off. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying it so far. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the like button. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Really will help me out if, you know, if it's worth making it or not. If it's worth making more comments. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.